And then again, I'm not sure anybody would really want I, uh, IE on Linux. Um, there, there is a project for it. There, there was. I thought it was dead at this point. Uh, the IES for Linux? Yeah. I, I don't know if it is or not. I read something about it just the other day, but it wasn't like a news thing. It was somebody asking about installing it. <coughs> yeah, it's like, I, I think it was, I think it like lost all its steam back in the IE five days or and something. It might have had to do with the Wine now has a Gecko plug <coughs> that can bring in that, that sort of emulates IE. Yes. So it's not as necessary anymore. Well, and one of the things Crossover does... Uh, and this is like the difference between crossover and wine. I guess we'll transition into that now. <coughs> is crossover actually does go out and install the Microsoft things. Like it will install IE in that emulation and, and so on and so forth so that you're actually using IE for the things that are looking for it. And so rather than trying to do the wine emulation of it. Yeah. Uh, and so on and so forth. This is one of the reasons crossover works better. One second. <coughs> I will be glad when these things stop swarming. It's that time of year when all those um, uh, natty things swarm. So they, you open the door, 50 billion of them come in. <laughs> they just get in everything. Anyways. Um, that'd be that'd be good, and th and that's going on to the other thing. It's like um, this person was largely asking about you know things like uh, gaming. You know, do they need to dual boot? Yada yada. And this is actually related to the other topic. <coughs> I'm not really sure there's a clear cut answer on this, to be quite honest. It honestly depends on the game. Somebody uh, asked me on my one of my uh, Ubuntu 10.10 videos just the other day, um, I'm wanting to switch to Ubuntu. I want to try it out. Uh, this is what I do. I'm not a hardcore gamer, but I have a lot of purchased Windows software. Should I make the switch? And a lot of times, a lot of people will say, yes, Ubuntu is the best thing ever. You should switch. <coughs> I, I said, what software do you use? Yeah, it's like, uh, what game are you playing? What software is like quintessential to your reality? It more specifically, what do you use that you can't live without, and what do you use that does not have a, an open source alternative? And he probably didn't know, but I, I basically, you know, it, it was like, just lay it out for me what, what will not work, because I don't want to tell somebody to switch over, only to have them say, well, this won't run Crisis, and don't get me wrong, Linux probably will, I've never tried, but I, I, that's an example. It won't run X. Linux sucks. I'm going back to Windows, and I'm going to tell everybody I know. That's that's not the kind of environment you want. That's no. not the experience you want. No, it, it isn't. Because um. wh while Linux is a great, uh, well, Linux, GNU Linux, the, the operating system in general, is great. Uh, there's a load of great software available for it. There's a, a wonderful bevy of alternatives for people. It's not perfect for everybody. It's not going to match everybody's hardware. It's not going to match everybody's needs. And so I'm not going to push it on anybody. Well, now, <clears throat> at the end of the day, you should use the platform that suits your needs. Um, the best I, operating system is the one that is works the one with that works with what you're uh, with what you're trying to do. Be that <coughs> open or closed source, honestly. I am trying to remember what it is. Do you remember what that? Um, uh, Linux gaming distro is? There are a couple of live ones. Uh, it's like a live I'm... DVD and they've included all, they've included like, it's basically almost 8 gigs they've included. There's these. two. There's a uh, Super Gamer and then there's live.linuxgamers.net I've made videos on both of them in the past. Super Gamer, I think, is the one I was thinking of. That's the one I talked about back in January, I think. Yeah, it, it's like, and, the, and there's that one. It's like, um, the, the live Linux Gamer one is actually an Arch Linux based one. Uh, I had somebody come into the IRC channel and, and ask me to talk about it. Luckily I had that video made when I lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Um, like, and honestly this stuff, it, it's, it's getting there. What's missing at this point, for, as far as for gaming to be really truly viable on Linux, is for the game companies to support it. Steam, Steam on Linux would have been a monumental step forward, but...
it still could be. All honesty, I, I'm I'm going to keep uh, holding my guns there. The only source, the only source I've been able to find is a dot biz website and a VP of marketing that said we're not working on one right now. That's it. I read I read through the the full interview and that's all that was said. Yeah, but it's like you would think somebody at Steam or Valve or somebody would have come out and contradict that. Uh, Unless they want to just keep us on our toes or keep us waiting. If they come out, I think we've talked about this before, if they come out and say, no, we are absolutely not and never will have a Linux client, you're going to have a lot of gamers that just get pissed off. If you uh, have them come out and say, yes, we are working on it, then you're going to have gamers beating your door down trying to get it tomorrow. I have people coming to me every couple of days saying, where's Steam for Linux? When's it coming? <laughs> because I made a video a while back saying... You know, we, 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 we've said it's dead three times, and we still get... We still get what's Steam for Linux? What's Steam for Linux? What's Steam for Linux? Like, all of us still get these questions. We're like, well, you, I tell you what. When I find out, I'll announce it. <laughs> it's like, it's if it ever and happens. What I always say is, a .biz website with the VP of marketing from Valve said that they're not working on it right now. That's the latest that we've heard. Yeah. Period. And, and, and then there's the other thing you keep throwing back in, which is apparently there is a posting for a Linux porter. <laughs> it's still out there. It's still live on their site, but you can't get to it from their jobs page anymore. <laughs> the bad web developer or bad web developer. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. That's about it. It's either a person that's lazy or a person that doesn't realize it's still there. Or both. Or both. <laughs> or it was never supposed to be there, but they want hope to stay alive. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Could be. Yes. Well, that, that's the thing. In, in a load of these big companies, there are Linux people that are trying desperately to get Linux implemented. That goes into the Netflix idea. Netflix doesn't work on Linux, but there are... Uh, Linux users that work for Netflix that are trying, but they just can't get it because of the the DRM that's required by the content providers. Mine's canceled. I have told Netflix I will gladly come back when they work on Linux. I've yes. been canceled for a long time. Yes. I had it on Xbox for a while, but because it wouldn't work on Linux, I said, forget this. Yeah, it's like, there are other ways I can get movies. <laughs> uh, I'll that, go to, that I'll, go to, I'll go to YouTube. Uh, there are other legal ways I can get movies too. That's, well, you can get it legally on both of those. No, I know. It's, yeah. It's. I mean, There's if you're a, it's if you're a marketplace, you need to be platform agnostic. Yes. Uh, and Steam is a marketplace. Netflix is a marketplace style service. And there's also. Well, and Blockbuster Online is the same way. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, uh, like you say, it's more the copyright holders. It's like because they're just convinced that we're going to steal their stuff. I'm like, and there are a large portion of people that would, but the people that would are going to do it on Windows. Yeah, I'm going to say, going to do it on Mac. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, here, here's the other thing: I don't ever talk about this because I don't want to encourage this type of behavior. There actually is a way to get Netflix streams to run on Linux. It requires using the hacks of the Silverlight DRM that basically download it and transcode it into an unencrypted file so it's running locally on your system, something without any DRM, that then you don't have to delete if you don't want to, that will then run fine with Moonlight. <laughs> I don't ever go through the particulars of this because this is not behavior I want to encourage because it's illegal as hell and it's exactly what they're afraid we're all going to do. But right now, it's the only way you can get it to work on a Linux box. So I'm like, they're actually encouraging the very behavior they're trying to prevent. <laughs> For lack of a better word. I'm like, that's, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's like, it's, I've heard rumors that, although these are, these are completely unfounded in every way, shape, or the form, that Linux is actually looking to figure out a way to drop Silverlight because of this problem. Because it's something that's never going to be fixed and they'd prefer a codec that just works. But apparently enough people have canceled their accounts and complained that all of a sudden they care. <laughs> it's like, um, but again, this is an unfounded rumor. Anyways, getting back to the topic. Actually, getting back to earlier topics, <laughs> we were talking about Unity earlier 
Mm -hmm. uh, somebody posted my IRC channel. Um, George Castro, one of the uh, canonical developers, is actually on askubuntu.com right now answering questions about Unity. So there is a bunch of live information coming up. Uh, let's see, will there be a clean upgrade path from 1010 to 1104? Uh, let's see what his answer was. We will, of course, provide an upgrade path. I don't know what you mean by clean. <laughs> will it be any better than the last... Yeah. Law upgrades um, that you're better off not to do it. <laughs> will, will Unity become themable? Uh, the answer is no decision has been made yet. Ouch. I, I'm going to take that as a no initially. <laughs> Let's see if I can just find his answers because that would be very helpful. Anyway, yeah, I just, uh, just thought I would take a look at that while we were while we were on here talking. Will the new Unity desktop be programmed in Qt? Qt? Unity is built around GNOME. That's a duh. Yeah. Um, will Unity launcher auto hide? According to Mark Shuttleworth in a comment, we'll address this in 11.4 with an auto hide option. So there, the launcher can go away. Okay. Will Unity be the option? Uh, Ubuntu, the stock CD, has never offered an option to install different desktops, so no. Unity will be the default if your hardware supports it. If it doesn't, you'll get GNOME 2.x. So basically that says out of the box that NVIDIA and, and ATI users will get a default GNOME uh, install out of the box. Why is it that uh, Unity doesn't work over there? Like, wh What is it that causes that problem out of curiosity? Proprietary drivers. Okay. Unless they make some significant improvements with the open source ones before then. And uh, which one was it? Um, I think it was the Radeon HD driver that just recently got better direct rendering that will work with Unity. Anyway, but uh, if you guys do want to, to know more about this, askubuntu.com slash questions slash tagged slash Unity. Uh, I'll send you the, or I'll put the yeah, link to that Yeah, just put in. it in the yeah. thing here. <laughs> like, right at the very end. Yeah.